Are you a specialist doctor considering working in Australia? Well, this video and this video series is for you. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm the career doctor. I make videos on YouTube to help you manage your medical career. So if uh, you're a first time viewer to this video and you like what you see, please leave a like or a comment below. And if you're a return visitor, then why haven't you subscribed yet and turned on some notifications so you can find out about the next videos. Just a quick reminder, also we have two uh, groups on Facebook, one for trainee doctors currently working in Australia and another for international doctors to help them with the challenges of obtaining work in Australia. So there's links to those descriptions below. Also check out the advanced med web pages uh, particularly the uh, career doctor coaching page where, we, where you can find out some of the resources I provide for coaching uh, as well as the international medical doctors uh, landing page where we've got a bunch of resources. It is in my opinion the best collection of resources to help you navigate the process of obtaining a job as a doctor in Australia. There's a whole lot of information there, but if you spot something that's missing, please drop us a line and let us know and we'll add it. So in this video, we'll be doing an overview of the process of obtaining specialist registration if you're an international doctor coming to Australia. This is actually the first one of uh, what's going to be six videos in this series. So if you've managed to get here first, well done. And if you've come through some sort of other route, uh, sorry about that, but you are now at the right starting point. Today I'll just be giving you a brief overview of the process, including touching on the key institutions and organisations that are involved uh, in the process of doctors coming to Australia with specialist qualifications. And then in future videos I'll be talking about things like the role of the colleges, which are very important in this process, something that's uh, not quite easily understood when you're coming from a different training context, a different country. Uh, and that ties in with the types of specialties that we have in Australia and how your specialty might line up with that. Uh, we'll also talk about the two variations of the specialist pathway because there's actually two options. We'll talk about the types of outcomes that a college might give you once they assess you. Uh, we'll talk about how you go about finding a job uh, once you've gone through the process or at the right point in the process for seeking employment. Uh, we'll also talk about how this lines up with things like competent authority in the area of need and the district workforce shortage. And then finally, once you're in, you've got a job and you're, in, you're registered and you're on the specialist pathway and you're aiming towards specialist registration, we'll talk a little bit about what you need to do to complete the last steps of the process to get to that all important specialist registration status. So you can see there's a lot there to cover and that's why I've decided to break it up into a series of videos to make it a bit more bite-sized for you all. Once again, a reminder of the International Doctors landing page, there's a bunch of resources there. Some, a lot of the links that I'll be talking about in this video will also be there too. Uh, so check that out for us. So the specialist pathway is a process to, or a pathway to registration for specialist doctors with qualifications from outside of the Australian and New Zealand context. And it's the pathway to become recognized as a specialist in Australia. Remember in a previous video, I talked about uh, the types of registrations that are available in Australia under the Medical Board of Australia. And I talked about the two key important ones being general registration and specialist registration. So this pathway is about leading to that important specialist registration uh, status, uh, which is one that gives you the most autonomy as a medical practitioner in Australia, because it means that uh, you can apply for most jobs within your specialty, obviously, uh, and it also means that you get access to the Medicare billing system for your patients to deliver services within your specialty. So that gives you a lot of autonomy. And if you want, it enables you to work privately uh, as a, in the private system. So all the other forms of registration, be that provisional, limited, they're all temporary uh, and they have time limits, which is crucial because uh, particularly if you're an international doctor and you're on a visa, uh, eventually the, the limit by which, or the time by which you can stay on that registration will run out. Uh, and that means if it does run out and you don't get re-registered, you can't keep working. And that usually means that your visa status also gets canceled and you can't stay here in Australia either. Now there are four key institutions or organizations involved in this specialist pathway process. And we're gonna briefly go through all four of those. First off, we've got the Australian Medical Council, and I've talked about that in a previous video, which I'll put the link to somewhere here or there. And I'm only gonna talk about this briefly because whilst it is uh, an important part of the process, it's a very short part of the process. Essentially, uh, it's the first step 
in going down the specialist pathway and they look at your primary medical degree or your primary qualification and determine whether you are indeed a doctor with the appropriate status in the country that you graduated from. The next institution or more accurately collection of institutions are the specialty colleges and we're going to do a whole entire video about them because they are a very big part of the process. Uh, but in brief the colleges are the, in, the organizations that train the specialists in Australia. We base this on the, uh, the British system that we've inherited our medical training system from and so if you want to become a specialist in Australia you basically have to go through one of these various colleges. Uh, you have to apply to training for training with them and then have to complete all the training requirements until you get what's called a fellowship. So essentially, as a specialist coming from overseas, you are trying to get your training and experience and qualifications reviewed against the program that a local graduate would have to do under the relevant college. And therefore you have to submit to assessment for that college. I should note that this is by far and away the hardest part of the process and the hurdles are quite high here. Then we have the employers themselves. The specialist pathway is not a pathway that directly leads to be able to work on your own. So you do need a job. And so the employers are crucial in this process. In some cases, they're actually putting up positions to the colleges and hoping that someone like you will apply for them and then get assessed and be able to go into them. In other cases, you're just competitively going for jobs against perhaps local graduates as well as other graduates from overseas. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a couple of videos in the series. The final institution is the Medical Board of Australia itself. Uh, you can think of the Medical Board as the checker of the process. The Medical Board is responsible for ensuring the other players in the process have done the appropriate things that need to be done. It checks on those, uh, it determines whether you are then therefore eligible for registration. It issues you your registration. It checks the supervision requirements and other requirements that are attached to your registration. There are always some of those. And it monitors you to make sure that you're progressing along that registration. Because as I say, the registration you get is time limited and you need to complete it in a certain amount of time before that expires. And you're ultimately aiming to achieve specialist registration. So again, we'll come back to talk about the role of the medical board in the videos when we talk about particularly things like uh, looking for jobs and the final steps in the process. So that's an overview of the specialist pathway. What about you? Are you a specialist considering working in Australia? Are you considering the specialist pathway? Have you got a question about how your particular specialty lines up against one of the colleges uh, in Australia? Do you know uh, where to find a portal to submit your application for assessment? If you're in one of those categories, uh, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to engage with you in a discussion. So just a reminder before we uh, sign off this video, uh, please check out the International Doctors Landing page. Uh, a lot of bunch of resources uh, to help you doctors uh, in your journey uh, to working in medical practice in Australia. And I will see you in the next video.